Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you've been here and you've been a subscriber, thank you so much for continually coming back. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. I would love to have you here. Let me give you a little bit about who I am because I do realize I have a lot of new subscribers. So my name's Amber. I'm from Amber's To-Do List and I named my channel that because I just constantly have a to-do list. And I refer to it often and my husband always laughs at me when I when I talk about my to-do list and he's like, haha, I see what you did there. And I'm like, that was me before I had a YouTube channel. Um, I mostly do Dollar Tree hauls on this channel, but I do like to pop in every so often with like a decorate with me or with like a craft that I'm working on. And when I show my hauls, I do talk a lot about what I plan to do with the items so that that way maybe you can get some ideas off of what I plan to do. So um, I love to plan parties. I love like little kids birthday parties as much as I love doing like adult parties. The kids parties kind of all happen throughout the summer. And now I'm working on a fondue party, which is tomorrow. Really excited. And my husband is planning me a surprise birthday party at the end of the month that I don't know anything about that I'm helping him out with. Um, and then we'll figure out what's next. Christmas. I mean, Christmas takes a lot. So that is kind of a little about me of who I am. So if you're new here, thank you so much. And please, again, if you haven't hit that subscribe, subscribe button, consider hitting it. Today I am here with a Dollar Tree haul. I also ran to Dollar General thanks to some advice to some of my subscribers in the comments below on one of my recent hauls that I couldn't find the chargers at Dollar Tree and I was starting to feel a little bit sad and I went to several stores and I had some suggestions of Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and Dollar General and I decided Dollar General first. It's closest to me, although I had to go to two stores, but my thought process was it was the closest store out of those to me and I assumed the price tag would be close to a dollar. And so, like I said, I had to go to two stores. The first one I went to had two grays, three browns, and then some with stripes on them. And I have six people coming to my fondue party tomorrow evening. So I did pick up both of the grays and the three brown. So I'll probably return the three brown because I don't think I have a use for them. But then I went to a second store and I found the remainder gray ones. So this is the gray charger. I love these. They're plastic. They're lightweight. Um, but they're just perfect for exactly what I want. I got the clear plates to go over them so the wood is going to show through. And my fondue party is a fall theme. And so the look of the wood grain is exactly what I was looking for. And now if you're wondering, these are what the brown ones look like which are also beautiful. I would have used those if I found the other ones of those too. Gray matches my house better though. And so um, I need to find something to do with the three of those. If you're interested and you want three wood, brown wood chargers, comment down below and I could do a flash like, here's for you. Cause it's just as easy to ship it as it is to go return them, I think. So then I went to a second store in hopes to find the rest and I did. I found four more of the gray ones. And so I have my set of six that I need for my fondue party. And we all know that when we go to stores, we don't only look at what we're looking for. So I found a couple other fun things at Dollar General. <clears throat> Although I feel like I'm missing one. So I am. I don't know where it is. So I picked up these little ornaments. They're called Christmas ornaments. And I got this one. It is the little old fashioned candies, five cents, with the little lollipop on there. This one says Merry Christmas. And it has the gingerbread house. And I know I had picked up another one that had a little gingerbread person. Let's see if maybe I ended up in between one of these. Oh, I hope I didn't lose him. Maybe he's in the car. Cause I picked up one too that had a little gingerbread boy on it and he was really cute. So the first store I picked up the gingerbread boy, the second store I found these two and then I was like, oh cool, I have the whole set. These were a dollar each. Hopefully I find the other one. And if and when I do, I'll show him to you. I feel like maybe he fell out, maybe he's in the car. Um, hopefully I find him. And then, you know what happened is I had soda. I bet I pulled the bags out of the, the soda out of the bags 
I bet he was in there, and I bet he got left behind. So I also picked up this Hello Pumpkin sign for my fall decor. I did my, my shelves with some fall. It might change. I'm not done decorating for my fondue party, but there's just some of the decor I did behind me, at least for today's video, but it might change because I don't know where I want everything yet. So I got that, and so that's what I picked up at Dollar General, and I'll have to go back and get the little gingerbread boy tag because I bet he was in the bag with the soda. Bummer. I picked up this. I had picked up two previously, and I figured they'd be more for crafting because they weren't so much my style. This is kind of more my style, at least in my living room. I do like the fun, bright color Christmas, kind of like the kids, younger style because I got my three kiddos. So this one says, Dear Santa, this year I've been naughty, nice, or all of the above. Yes. And it's got like the stripes on the side, and it says the same thing on the lid. And this is nice and big. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but I love it. I think it is adorable. And so I picked that up. Let me it real fast, actually. So you saw my thumbnail, probably. And this was my very exciting find. This is huge. This was in the dollar or the plus section. So I have a couple um, stores that I go to that do have the plus section in them. And this was one of them. And I could not believe this. So this was $5. The tag is in here. We had to undo it because um, it was impossible to scan. Uh -oh. Uh oh, I'm stuck, guys. Okay, so here's my little tag. Five dollars for this one. It has the chalkboard on the other side. So if you wanted to chalk or use your Cricut, you could put whatever you want. And then on the front side is hot cocoa mistletoe. Hot cocoa, sixty cents. So adorable. <laughs> It's got the ribbon that holds it open, so it's like a display stand. And so back when I was buying for fall, I picked one up for fall, very similar to this that I had to have. And I brought it with me to show the size difference, because this is amazing. Like, so much bigger. And still the same price. They were only $5. Like, Insane. I can't believe it. And I'm so excited about it. I'm for it. I'm for it, Dollar Tree. I'm for this $5 find this and my little fireplace that I recently showed. Worth the $5. So I wanted to show that. I know not all of you have the plus section. And I, I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't venture into the plus section all that often. Not for the day-to-day -day stuff, but I do like to look at their holiday stuff in the plus section because sometimes it's just bigger and you find something like that which is amazing I asked my husband how much he thought I bought bought it for he didn't know that I got it at Dollar Tree and he guessed $13 and said it's worth $13 but I paid five all right back to my dollar finds I found this one I've been seeing these go around I got the believe in the magic of Christmas with the beads I just like this as is. I probably won't redo it in any way because I just like the saying and I think it's beautiful. I picked up these two placemats and I had seen and I wish I could remember who I saw it. I think it's one of the crafters that I watch um, and I can link all of the crafting people down below that I love to watch on YouTube. There's a, a long list of them. I linked them recently too. But they said you put this, maybe it was the crafty guy. I think it was the crafty guy DIY. So you have, if you have a tray that you like, but it has something on it and you don't want to necessarily have that, you could put these on the tray and then you would kind of like holiday it up a little bit. And so I got the black and white because this front room I'm doing a black and white theme. And then I got this just red one because I thought this would go good with my gingerbread theme in my kitchen. And so I picked them both up for that purpose. And I'm going to see if that works because I thought that that was a great idea for just a dollar, you know, to set in there. I grabbed two of these scarves and I have a couple ideas of what I'm going to do them for. One is a table runner. So in my entryway, I have an entryway table and I thought that this would just be really pretty as a table runner across it because this room is going to be black and white. And like, <coughs> excuse me, I have a very dry spot in my throat. It's going to be uh, black and white with like a cozy cabin vibe to it is what I'm going for. And you know, what is cozier than a nice scarf and it's got the little fringes that will hang over the sides. So I think one of these will be a table runner. And like I said, I got two because I was also thinking maybe a pillow. But then I also have another table kind of desk behind my desk. I guess it's not a desk, but I got like another kind of spot behind my desk. And I can do another table runner there or I could do it at the table where I sit to do my hauls 
for when I'm not using it for my hauls. It could just be um, a table runner on there. And then for my hot chocolate bar, I got these little twinkle lights, either there, you know, somewhere else, wherever I decide to use them. The black and purple ones worked great for my Halloween coffee bar, so I wanted to pick up another set. To go along with Christmas, I picked up these cups. So for each of my kiddos, I like to do kind of, obviously we do Christmas gifts, but I like to do the beginning of the season gifts, and I like to do like Christmas Eve gifts. And so um, I like, like they're kind of like gift baskets for the kids. And so this will go in one of them. I usually do the cups for the Christmas Eve, but I was literally thinking as I'm talking that it would make more sense to do it at the beginning of the season because then they can use it all month long. So um, I have the little advent calendars that I'm going to give them that I got from Dollar Tree and then probably these. And I usually do an ornament for their trees. And so these flash at the bottom and they turn off on their own. You learn the hard way. This one has Santa and a Christmas tree. This one is a snowman with a wagon and a Christmas tree. Super cute. And this is Nomi's. And so I got those for the kids. I'll probably, yeah, do those at the beginning. If you want to see my little gifts I do for the kids that aren't like regular gifts, they're like seasonally themed, let me know down below in the comments. To go along with those, I always do bath bombs, usually in their Christmas Eve gifts. And so I grabbed these, and I actually got two of each accidentally because I thought about it twice when I went shopping, and I didn't really remember that I bought them the first time. So I got these because I like them. They um, have the, the hol holiday vibe to them. This says, Tis the Season. It's Smarties. It's got, like, candy canes and stockings and little gifts on it. So perfect. And this is an Icy. So it's Cherry Lime. It has the little elf on it who is super cute. And this one is the Airheads, so it's blue raspberry and it has the snowflakes. And I really love the way that they have the holiday theme. And like I said, I tossed them together because I picked up one bag and I was like, wait a second, that's not the bag I remember those being in. And then I remembered that I bought them twice. Because, you know. Um, so I could either do them like twice. I could do it at the beginning of the season. They have a bath bomb and then at the end of the month and then they have another bath bomb. I could put them in their stockings. Or I can use them for my gifts for all the other little kiddos that I'm doing because I'm doing the caboodles and the toolboxes and I can toss those in for some of the other kids and some makeup so Jay had sent me one of these because I hadn't found it yet and I found them so I picked up a few these are the Wonderlust eyeshadow palettes and they got like the pink and the purple and the green in there and I didn't swatch it when she sent it to me so I could do a quick swatch I don't have a brush so it'll be with my finger but um, the other one, I haven't used it, used it, but I swatched it and they were beautiful colors. So I'm really excited for these. I obviously bought one for myself. And then um, I think the teenagers that I'm doing little gifts for, these colors are great because they're not too crazy colors. I think they're good for, you know, a teenager, an adolescent. So this right there, the bigger one, the bigger pink. Got just kind of a shimmer. You can't really see it that much. The purple comes off kind of a smoky purple. Really pretty. Oh, that green comes off really nice. Uh, I don't know if you could see it in the camera. It's above the purple. Really pretty kind of shimmery green. Ooh, that one came off a lot. It's kind of, ooh, kind of like a gold bronzy color <clears throat> and then the other two are more of a matte than a shimmer pretty orange it's under the bronzy color and then my fingers have stuff on all of them oh and that one has a lot of color to it kind of an orangey red kind of orangey like a burnt orange color so Really pretty palette by Flower. A lot of my stores are starting to run dry again on makeup, so every so often you get lucky. I also found some of these Pop Fanatic Vinyl Lips. I got three because I don't know what they're going to look like. It's called Wow. 
so let's see oh wow yeah that's a color it's pretty bright oh I, I don't know about that one so so that's bright I was thinking for gifts for those the girls but uh, it's pretty bright I don't know I I don't know we'll see about that and then for the kids I grabbed them each a new loofah they just need some new loofah so I got this one for Lorelai because it's more of the pink family this for Braxton because it has kind of the yellow and I got this one for Eric because he's the youngest so he gets the little guy and it's got the blues so I got that for each of the kids I got makeup all over my table now I got some food items this one's not the food though this and then some food items and whatever else ended up in there I picked up some of these I've been working on just grabbing little fun toys for the kiddos when I see things that are neat these say that they are the novelty balls it says bounce right there on the ball and I think they mimic moon balls or something um, but I thought that those would just be cute to toss into the little boys gifts and then guys I found more of this it's the SEX NYC so whipped whipped mousse I bought this what was it about a year ago when they ran through the stores and I only bought one because you know you never know and I loved it and then I just could not find any more like at all like I couldn't find it and so I have two right here I bought four I don't know where the other two rolled off to I don't I feel like I saw one in my car yeah um, but I bought four and because I just want them on hand because I don't think I'll see them again and then I bought one of these it's the curl refresher I or bounce back curl refreshing mist so I don't have a ton of curl in my hair I have some wave in my hair if I let it and I don't know if this will help or not with that but for a dollar that's the, the time to try it right so I picked that up I'll probably love it and then not be able to find it again because that's just how that works now for some food I picked up some canned pumpkin and these were a dollar each they are a product of China but its um, ingredient is only pumpkin so I figured just to have them on hand why not for a dollar I picked up these I didn't think I was gonna find these but I did the seven days cake bars I did try a chocolate I don't know if I love it but I will give it another try I had it for a snack when I was out and about actually after I picked them up because I was hungry and it was just okay I haven't tried though the strawberry one yet and I have three kids so hopefully if I don't love them one of the three kids possibly will um, I grabbed these Jay on Frugal Jay, if you haven't watched her channel, I have her link down below. Make sure you give her a watch. She cracked me up. She bought these and she said, whenever I want to trick the kids into thinking I made them a home-cooked meal, I do something like one of these. My son loves fettuccine alfredo. And I thought, you know, for a dollar to have them on hand, they are super easy. You just need milk, margarine, and this and you have fettuccine alfredo so cooks in seven minutes so my well i guess it's not fettuccine it's just alfredo with, oh, fettuccine and a creamy parmesan sauce so i figured the days that he were kind of going easy on dinners and he just wants some pasta super easy because that's like one of his favorites and lastly yep lastly i found some gingerbread cookie mix i haven't decided if i'm going to make gingerbread cookies if i'm going to put these in gift baskets these are good until July of 2022. Um, it makes about nine servings. So two makes, I don't know, serving size, three tablespoons, makes two ginger snaps, about nine servings. So you make about 18 ginger snaps, if I do that math correctly. I guess ginger snaps, though, wouldn't be the gingerbread cookies. I don't know. I don't know how many it would make. It's a pretty small bag. It's only 7.7 .7 ounces. But... For a dollar how cute would that be in a little baking gift basket with a little gingerbread mix and then they usually have like chocolate chip cookies and sugar cookies so that would be cute in there too but how cute would that be so that's probably what i got that for is to put in gift baskets i was thinking too in my hot cocoa bar like if i just need a filler just set this somewhere it would be cute but i'll probably do it in gift baskets 
All right, guys, that's my haul for today. So today's Friday. My fondue party is tomorrow. I am super excited. I do plan to record my decor and maybe some of the food. And if my friends are okay with being on my YouTube channel, maybe part of the party, we will see. Um, so that might be my Sunday video because um, I usually pre-record my Sundays because my weekends end up getting pretty busy. So that might be my Sunday video is my fondue party. Or if I have a chance, I'll do another haul and I will see you guys because I need to go buy. I want the small glass plates for our desserts because I didn't even think like the big glass plate is great for dinner. But when you do dessert, you don't want like your cheese fondue and your chocolate fondue like mixing. So I need to go buy more plates and stuff. And if I have a chance, I'll record that haul prior to the party. But there's no guarantees, no guarantees at all because I'm running out of time. So I will see you guys next time. I want to thank you so, so much for being here. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.